It's not how I saw it going. It's not how our team saw it going. Our guys played with their hearts on the sleeves and, and they did everything that they could possibly do to win this game. And uh, we, uh, I told them, I said, we're, we're all, everybody in this, in this building in pain right now. It's just the way it's going to be. And uh, because you care that much about winning and about, you know, preparing to win, that uh, this is going to be painful. And it is. And, uh, but there's nobody more um, in pain than anybody else in that room. And they're going to have the the understanding that they're going to have to do this as a team and 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 put in the effort and energy to get right back where they were because this is a team that could have won that game well easily not, and not i mean it just again we did the things that we felt like would give us the best chance of victory and uh we didn't get there questions Hey, just with uh, Puka coming back, I think a lot of people probably expected that to really invigorate the offense. Um, obviously, he only could do so much. What what kind of led to those offensive struggles? Well, um, I uh, I certainly enjoyed Puka and his effort and energy. I enjoyed uh, Khalil. Um, I thought he ran extremely hard. Um, what led to the offensive struggles is uh, a, a secondary that uh, played some quality zone coverage, and, and frankly, you know, we couldn't quite beat that that, uh, that coverage. We would have, yeah, we would wouldn't have needed to run the football in the in the uh, tight quarters in the back end of the game. Less ahead of the uh, fourth and four in the red zone, you took a couple timeouts. Could you just go through your thought process on that using those last two timeouts? Well, they um, they lined up and uh, they they had an alignment that would not have benefited us, so we immediately took a timeout and uh, felt like we had uh, felt like we had a good call, a better call, so we we went with it and it. Uh, it didn't uh, didn't turn out that way. Hey, Les, you talked about the uh, the lack of confidence in the passing game. Where do you stand right now with both the passing game and uh, with Carter Stanley? Well, I, I I'm going to do the the old coach um, piece. I want to watch this film. I'm going to I want to see exactly what he saw, why. Um, you know, I know that there was some pressure, but I don't know that that was the key and, uh, and we'll we'll have to we'll have to see what we what the what the film brings and, and allow us to be more finite Coastal Carolina was just one of nine on three point on third down conversions. What did your defense do to make it so difficult for them? They tackled. They played. They uh, they were very physical. They uh, took the line of scrimmage from Coastal Carolina, and uh, they played awfully hard. Earlier when you were talking, you had said that this was a game that this team should have won. Why exactly did it not come with the result that you were expecting? Um, I, I think, the, uh, I, I think the, the, the piece is, you know, kind of tough to put your hand on. It, uh, I think you'll find that it's a uh, multiple answer. It's not just one thing. And... Uh, you know, I think it's, again, 
I think it's something that we're going to have to you know, look at to find out more specifically. You know, I, it'd be easy to say we, we don't throw two interceptions, but you know what? I don't know that that was exactly the answer. So let us. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to stew over this one for quite some time, so I'll be able to tell you more, more specifically. Questions? Uh, Coach, you made a switch at, at kicker, missed a field goal. Where's your where your your thought right now on with that room? Um, I think we have two really good kickers, and I think they're competing, you know, really daily for some of those spots. Um, Liam Jones is our kickoff kicker, and uh, um, I think there'll be some competition for, for field goal as we go forward. Coach right here uh, in the front, sorry. Uh, throughout the last several months, you talked a lot c comparing this opportunity to your, your time at Oklahoma State, and I, I wonder if you can put your finger on how, just how detrimental a loss like this can be toward the building process and, and how much that can hurt the momentum. Well, the interesting thing is just that in Oklahoma State right now, I was 0-4, oh 5, or 6, whatever it was before I, we won, uh, we beat uh, Baylor and a very uh, good uh, Oklahoma team. Um, but that was the last two games of the year. So uh, I guess what I'm saying is, is that uh, we'll, we're not yet there and uh, not that we won't be capable and not that we won't be able to do the things that we want to do, but just in terms of being um, in the same spot as that, as that uh, team was, we're not. And I mean, we're not. Uh, in a in a calendar sense, in other words, we just haven't gotten there yet. So we'll we're going to continue to improve. This is a painful second game, but uh, but this football team will fight. Les, so you guys uh, first drive of the game, you drove right down field, scored a touchdown. Uh, what worked well and that uh, drive and what kind of didn't work. Same quite things. As well. that was, same things that we called back into the game. You know, the uh, we threw some balls that uh, that uh, that we threw in the first the opening drive. We we uh, ran the football in in the opening drive like we ran the football later in, in the game. We ran the football at times better than we ran it early in that drive. And we could not, uh, we couldn't punch through a uh, a fourth down conversion. We do that, yeah. Hey, Les, a couple. Um, first, I wanted to ask you about the fourth and four play. I know Carter started to die for it. Look, like you tried to get Puka open. What did you see? It was right in front of you. Um, it was. Uh, there were a couple things we were trying to do and get to Puka, and uh, and. And Puka did everything he could, so they uh, didn't hook up at times, and obviously that you know changes the outcome. And I just wondered, you you, you talked about um, feeling like maybe you couldn't pass it later on. I mean, what does that do for a team, an offensive play caller, when um, you're starting to lack confidence in the passing game? Does it make it more difficult late when you're well, having to run it? Well, it's a uh, it's it's not even losing confidence in the in the passing game. It's it's uh, we're more segmented to how do you win the game? These are the plays that you should call. This is how they're playing coverage. This is how you were going to attack them. And if those aren't the answers, which they are the answers, but you can't make those answers work for whatever reason, you better. You better look at it again and come up with another set of answers. And, and that's kind of what, what happens on days like tomorrow. Coach, uh, up here in the front. 
Um, Puka left the game, it looked like, in the first half. Any concerns about that moving forward and what was kind of going on there? It looked like a Yeah, a he, had a little, he had a little uh, – he got, he got hit in the ribs pretty good. But uh, I think hits uh, – I think he's fine. I mean, he came back and played. And he may be a little, little banged, but I think he'll – long term, he'll be fine. Um, you could hear in the stands that there were some grumblings from fans that this a loss like this is reminiscent of Kansas of the past. So with that kind of in mind, what do you what do you say and think about that? Well, I wasn't here in the past, and I don't really know exactly, you know, how that and how they looked at that night. Um, I'm worried more about the the, uh, the players that I coach and the coaches and their families than I am um, a, a, a view that would link me to a unsuccessful um, past. So I'm, I think you'll find that, uh, that our football team will continue to improve. I think there's a reason to believe that that, that will happen. And, but I gotta, I gotta do my job. I gotta make sure that uh, that uh, this is a uh, this is the position that we're in, and we need to take some steps. Thank you, Coach. We'll have the players and the chancellors lounge.